freaks and geeks, we have a lot of young fans that watch the show, and so for them, that's probably a show from a long time ago. It doesn't right. feel that way to me. No, me either. But it was a show that was on for less than a year and then became so iconic, I think partly because every, almost everybody in that cast has gone on to do such cool things. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fantastic. Well, Martin is on Silicon Valley. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And, and we also have, uh, well, I think we have a, a cast photo here, but you've got a very young. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, a very young uh, Franco. <laughs> a very young everybody. James Franco. Seth Rogen. Now, hold, look, I look at, what is Franco? He's like the Fonz. What is he doing? <laughs> he is the Fonz. He's like, deal with it, dude. Hey, the Fonz was cool. Yeah, you got Jason Siegel, you got, and then Seth Rogen, this is what tr fooled me about it. I thought he was older, but that show, he's, you know, he's still a young guy. No, he was 17, so he had to have his um, mom or dad on set with him. He was 17 <laughs> yeah, when he yeah. made that. Yeah, he was the only one of the freaks who was still a minor, so he's got the greatest parents, though, so it was fun. You get to know, you know, you knew everybody's families, too, so it was yeah. a pretty amazing time. It's, uh, and so you were doing that show, and then it ended pretty quickly. Was that your first big break? Like, what was the, one of the first gigs that you got when oh, you God. came out here? How old were you oh, when God. you came out here to get your start in Hollywood? I came out when I was 18. I came out for college. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I remember the, one of the first things I did was I saw one of those things on a telephone pole. And I was like, do you want to be in movies? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> and I, it's I, really this easy. I do. Wow. Who knew? <laughs> Land of opportunity. This is what George yeah. Clooney did. Called <laughs> yeah, 100 exactly. Not Sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I learned. And so I pulled this thing off the, th off the telephone pole, and I called, and I became an extra um, in, I think, some kind of, like, you know, half nudie kind of movie. Where <laughs> Did you just say a nudie movie? A nudie movie. It's yeah, not yeah. one of those nudie pics. It might it? be. Yeah, my parents are watching, so I got to watch yeah. I gotta watch out what I call it. But yeah, and so we were standing there. When did it there. become clear to you that, oh, this is, this isn't. Oh, within like, well, I went there very early in the morning to a deserted part of the LA County Jail. There was no food, there was no heat. It was kind of like, I think it was, you know, non-union. And then they made an announcement. <laughs> I think it was non-union. <laughs> and they made There was no food, no heat. Right. No film in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known something was off. The director was a parakeet. You knew something was up. So, uh, so what uh, happened? So I, so I said, you know, so I was standing there and I was making a friend, you know, I was talking to somebody trying to, you know, I was there by myself. And, uh, and they said, if anybody wants to take off their shirt, they could make an extra, of, I think it was $50, and your name would be in the credits. And so I was like, oh my God, everything my grandfather said about Hollywood is true. Oh no. And then I looked and the girl next to me was gone. And then I saw her later on with a robe on and naked in the movie. So now, this movie, came, first of all, 50 bucks to take your time. I don't off? might have been, well, I got $35 to be there all day. So maybe it was $150, but it was, I mean, it was a lot to me. I was in college. Working sure. Yeah, away, yeah, yeah. But it was and not you're, enough you're... to tip the scales to make me take off my shirt. Okay. That still hasn't happened. Yeah, you were like, you didn't hit my price yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, Keep going. I'm Keep a going. $300 gal. I was gal. holding out. I should have told her to, help, to hold out. <laughs> uh, so uh, did that movie come out? Yeah, it, it well, the hero case. So then I was doing Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. And I had an assistant, and I was really, you know, I was you in a big like, franchise. You probably have like movie. a trailer. I had a big trailer, and uh, I thought it would always be like, <laughs> like that. Turns mm -hmm. out things change, but uh, but no. And then my assistant said, "Oh my God, Linda, is that you?" And literally, it was me passing frame in a very, very short blue top. Uh, in the back of this, the movie's about like girls getting sold into prostitution in jail. So, uh, which yeah. one? There's like, that's uh, sadly, that is, that yeah, is a very I, common theme. I've never seen the whole movie, but uh, I'm pretty sure I know where it's going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>